For those of you who have been asking how to convert your physical SIM card to an eSIM, today is your day because today I'm going to give you the latest update in our video series on eSIMs. And in this update, I'm going to show you how to convert your physical SIM card into an eSIM. Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and if this is your first time here on the Freelance Channel, I would encourage you to please subscribe. I create video tutorials as well as walkthroughs and unboxing, especially tools and apps that will help you be more productive in your freelance or online work. So in today's video, our topic, as you probably have already seen in the thumbnail, is that we're going to talk about how to convert your physical SIM card into eSIM. Now, in my previous videos, I've actually answered this question. And unfortunately, at that time, the only answer that I can provide is for you to go and get in touch with a Globe customer service because that is actually what really needs to be done at that time. But with the recent update, there is a new update for the Globe One app, which is the ability for us to now convert the physical SIM card into eSIM right in your Globe One app. So it pretty much follows the same steps with the purchasing of eSIM, but there are just some things that you need to make sure that you check, make sure that you have all of this taken care of. All right, so for the first one, you need to have, of course, your physical SIM, the one that you would like to convert into an eSIM. Now, it's not only just the physical SIM card. What actually needs here is for that physical SIM card to be associated to a Globe One account, and it has to be the primary uh, number, the primary number for that Globe One account. So if you have an existing Globe One app and you already have the primary number set up in there, what I suggest, just like what I did with my account, is that I actually had to set up a new Globe One account with the SIM card that I would like to change into an eSIM. The second thing that you need to do is you also need to have the latest version of the Globe One app. Now, if you are using an iOS device, I'm using an iPhone 14 Plus and the current version that I was able to install that has the conversion uh, feature available is the version 1.9.26. So if you don't have that version yet, make sure that you go to App Store and download the update and install it so that you can have this feature activated on your Globe One app. And aside from that, you will also need to have, of course, 99 pesos in your account, whether it's a debit card or a credit card. Um, it's still the same amount that we need to pay if you're going to convert from physical SIM card to an eSIM. And finally, of course, you need to have your active email address. And pretty much these are the only four things that you need if you want to convert your physical SIM card to eSIM. Now for the steps, let's go and I'll show it in my screen. All right, so before we get started, let me show you the current number that I have in here and you will see their tutorial. That's the physical SIM card that I'm going to convert into an eSIM. Next thing that we're going to do is we'll open and log into our Globe One app. Now you will notice that the login number that I'm using here is the same tutorial number or the physical SIM that I'm going to convert to eSIM. And the reason for that one is because it has to be the main number. It has to be the primary number for the Globe One app. So that's the reason why, because if it's not primary, you won't be able to convert it. To get started with the conversion, we'll go ahead and tap on uh, SIM services. And then we'll tap on change SIM. 
and then tap on physical SIM to eSIM. Tap on continue. All right, so here you will see that we'll just have to uh, tick those boxes, tap on continue. And we'll just wait for the confirmation or for the verification code. Then we'll go ahead and enter our email address. Now, the reason for this one is, of course, you will still be receiving the QR code as well as of your payment receipt. So you need to make sure that you have entered your active email address. Just in case there's any issue with the installation later on, then you can still go back to the uh, QR code and make use of it. So for your payment method, you could use GCash or of course you can use your credit or debit card. So you just have to make sure that you have 99, at least 99 pesos in your account and you should be good to go. All right, so for this step, what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and choose download eSIM to this phone. So as indicated there, you have to make sure that you have a stable Wi-Fi and of course you have enough battery to make sure that it can push through. So just follow the prompt and then tap on download eSIM. Then tap on allow. And there you go. You can go ahead and activate eSIM. All right, so that's done. All right, the eSIM that you can see there right now is the secondary because currently it's still reading the physical SIM card. So the physical SIM card is tutorial and the eSIM, which is also the tutorial number, is the secondary phone or secondary. So the eSIM will connect to the Globe Network shortly. Once the eSIM connects, the physical SIM will automatically be disabled. All right, so that is how you can convert your physical SIM card to eSIM. And let's go ahead and check. Now you will see here in our settings that there's still the tutorial or the physical SIM card number and the secondary number, which is the eSIM version. All right, so that is how you can convert your physical SIM to eSIM. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments. I'll try my best to answer those questions as soon as I see them. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. And if you find this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thank you so much and live the dream life without leaving the home.